it's just, it's also so troubling. And, and I, I mean, I, I suppose if I put myself in the shoes of the Chinese, I, I don't want to do whatever I, I'm going to do now um, while Joe Biden's in office. Should we expect that, in, you know, in case something changes in 2024, should we expect things to increase? I mean, I, I know here's Chris, let me just show you this, because this is Christopher Ray um, talking about China's cyber threat capabilities, which we see um, are advancing as well. Listen. If you took every single one of the FBI cyber agents and intelligence analysts and focused them exclusively on the China threat, China's hackers would still outnumber FBI cyber personnel by at least 50 to 1. So in addition to this, um, these cyber attacks, we also are seeing a massive increase of Chinese national military-age men, well-funded, um, by the way, coming, you know, across the Darien Gap and through our border. Yes. What, what does all this mean? Well, the, the big picture, uh, they're getting ready to use force against Taiwan if they have to. Uh, they're sending quite a few messages to both us and, and the Taiwan government that we're prepared to use force. If we do, it'll be something you Americans will regret because we basically, if they don't say this openly, but we know they, from this FBI testimony among other sources, they have placed uh, Trojan horses in our power grid, in our water system. Uh, you know, the ground links that go up to satellites, these are not often protected. So encrypted data there can be blocked by the Chinese. They're kind of warning everybody, uh, don't make trouble on Taiwan, because if you do, while you're busy with Iran and the Red Sea and the Houthis, we will attack Taiwan with either a blockade or missile strikes or something even more serious like the Normandy landing. Uh, this is very scary, especially when we found out, Rachel, I think you covered this, um, we found out that the Chinese spy balloon was using an American internet provider to send burst transmissions encrypted back to China, what they were finding around our nuclear facilities. China has built 100 nuclear weapons, according to the Pentagon, in the past, uh, the past year. No one else is building nuclear weapons like that. So this is all part of a big pattern, Rachel, and you've covered it very well. I still don't know what all these men are doing coming across our border. Yeah, that's um, right. Your suspicion is they're spies? My suspicion is we need to be prepared for a conflict with China and in a way that they find credible and that we can deter them and make these men coming across, military-age men crossing the border into America. The worst case is that they're organized and China knows about it. Oh, scary stuff. I'm so glad that you're talking about it. Thank you, Michael Cosberry. Thanks, Rachel. Got it. As related to uh, Fox News report, um, talking about Trojan horse <clears throat> related to this evasion. Trojan horse, what is that? What a horse that has said have been used in the Greek during the jo uh, Trojan horse entering the city of Troy and winning the war. Trojan horse is not mentioned in the Homer's uh, Leon. Uh, with a poem ending uh, before the war is concluded. Basically, it's a form of a, um, um, to infiltrate an enemy's um, secure secure position. You know, the Trojan horse. Another example from a cyber a cyber aspect, a Trojan horse would be a virus to ultimately compromise um, a system. For example, malware. You know now. Um, let me see. Trojan horse. Here we go. Trojan horse. Um, a person or thing intended to secretly to undermine or bring about a downfall of an enemy or opponent. And that's what that is, man. 
whether cyberly, whether actually physically, um, to make, to pretty much breach and compromise ultimately um, um, areas of secure regard and adversary. Man. And that's what you're seeing. This is going to be something short. Scripture says, be, uh, be not ignorant of anything great or small. So rock 5 and 15, and go to Ezekiel real quick. Something quick. It's talking about uh, relating to the, the uh, border situation. You know, it could be a form of a Trojan horse. Have the form of uh, people as migrants. Some are actually migrants coming in for, you know, for specifics. Um, for example, you know, certain parts of the world, you know, South America coming in for actual, you know, better life and different things. And others have a more, could have a more nefarious intent. So that Trojan horse could be, you know, is a form of a mask to ultimately, as a concealment to ultimately undermine, um, um, the, um, undermine, um, the, uh, secure, um, um, security of their adversary man. um Ezekiel 38 so in the guise of you know it, uh, relating to different people coming in you know me so that could be a form of that Trojan horse for example you know some with um, non nefarious intent and some with nefarious intent you know what I mean so um, let me say 38 and 11 Thou shalt say, I will, I will go up into the land of all walled villages. And walled villages is, um, um, on wall, villages goes to towns, man. On walls, or goes to no defenses, no walls, no barriers, man. And I will go into them that are at, at rest and dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls. That's the citizens, the people relating to, um, uh, those places. And having neither bars nor gates. So, that Trojan horse masking as uh, something you know coming in there relating to those all un unwalled defenses unwalled barriers you know um and in, in greek time uh, in ancient times the trojan horse would represent pretty much uh a form of concealment would actually for example could uh, be a, a surprise man you know I mean for example soldiers there's a definition i want it trying to find it um to take, let me read number 12, to take a spoil and to take prey, to turn thy hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited, upon the people that are gathered out of the nations which have gotten cattle and goods and dwell in the midst of the land, right? But that would, um, it was another one I seen on there, I was trying to find it. Um, here we go. The term Trojan horse is still used refer to any kind of deception or trick that involves getting a target willing to allow an enemy into a secure place and that children horse has to be something that's non-threatful from the optics from the appearance to ultimately enter that space that secure space man. it could be in, it could be in different forms man you know what i mean um so and the children horse potentially could be related to these borders, man. This border situation, border security situation, using the influx and exodus of, 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 of people, various diverse people. That could be that form of uh, Trojan horse that could be problematic relating security matters, relating to the border, relating to uh, uh, security of the country, man. So that would be the form of a Trojan horse, man. The breach ultimately compromise uh, the integrity of, um, of of the secure of the secure um, a secure place man. so that was the scripture right here relating to that um, something short real quick I hope it helps I want to give all praise y'all by Shemil Shah by Shemil Kakanash and uh go out y'all by Shemil Shah for a minute and truth you know, truth and knowledge uh, start with Elder Foster Men and Truth on that like minded for teachers, Truth and Knowledge with the Y'all watching the job. Use them for uh, so we can know this Truth and Knowledge. So we can learn this Truth and Knowledge. And uh, call Yo Yo Bashim Yo Shah Bashim Makakana. Let's give all praise, Yah Bashim Yo Shah Bashim Makakana. Shah Yah Wolf Shah.